man, get Tyler Hero some help. If he had any type of competence around him, this team would go undefeated because I've made my mind up. Tyler Hero is the GOAT. Uh, but in all seriousness, that, that boy is good, man. Listen, he was just good enough to keep me on the edge of my seat for the rest of that game uh, and make me waste uh, my time in, in mental capacity. Because in that third quarter, the Pacers pretty much went on a monster run, got up as high as like 16, I believe. And mentally, I was already thinking, all right, listen, you just beat the Pacers in Indiana with these baseball style series where you play the same team twice in the same setting back to back. It's hard to win both games. So I was saying, OK, you know what? I'm cool. We split. We're going to get blown out. Whatever. But then that boy Tyler Hero caught fire. We need to get a nickname for him. Mr. I know Eric Reed was trying to do Mr. Ignitable. And I know microwaves been a thing with Vinny Johnson back in the day. But I've never seen a player get this hot as quickly and as reliably as Tyler Hero has been for the last couple of weeks. Right. Because it's almost as if you expect him to never miss a shot once the, the, the scores table says fourth quarter or fourth quarter begins. Because his degree of difficulty that he does just pulling up on these transition threes is insane. He makes it look so, so, so easy. And I, I need y'all to know how difficult that is. Not to glaze Tyler Hero or nothing, but uh, geez, the, the dude, if the season or if it was all-star break today, He's an all-star, right? I know they had the same discussion on the numbers on the board uh, pod. Uh, so shout out to those guys over there. And they brought up the question, is Tyler Hero an all-star? And it made me happy to see because I used to pray for times like this. Uh, anyways, uh, the Heat did lose this game. I guess I maybe should have started by saying that because I've been speaking for two minutes here and didn't even mention that. Uh, by, the, by the tone of my voice, I sound upbeat. You'd, you'd think they won, but no, they, they didn't. Uh, maybe I'm not too pessimistic just because, like I said, you were likely never going to win both games in Indiana. Uh, and I'm also happy the Dolphins won today. So shout out to them for keeping their their miracle playoff hopes alive. But anyways, we'll kind of talk about the, the layouts of the game so far. The Heat were down three at halftime despite poor shooting from literally everyone. That, that's not named Duncan Robinson. At least that boy did get going in the first half. Nice to see him continue his hot shooting. But Tyler got you like two points in the first half. Bam had like six or seven. Terry was being Terry. Uh, but in that third quarter, the Pacers dropped 33 points. They really lit you up to go up 16 but then the Heat were able to keep it close enough because it was only a 10-point game going into the fourth quarter. Although you did get a big loss in that third in which Jame Jaquez rolled his ankle. How can I have a foot fetish for the footwork if the feet don't work? It was really sad because uh, Jame pulled up for like a mid-range jumper, landed normally, and then was just sort of backpedaling to get back on defense. And he stepped on who else but TJ McConnell. Uh, stepped on TJ McConnell's foot. <laughs> His ankle kind of bent hard. It looked nasty. He was hobbled. He went straight to the locker room. And he won't play tomorrow. Breaking news. Put it on the ticker. Jaime Hawkins is out tomorrow versus the 76ers. Uh, but hopefully it's one of those things where they get some ice on it quick. Doesn't swell up too bad. And we can see him uh, in a week or so. Uh, hopefully because I actually will be at the Miami Heat game versus the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, I won some tickets on Twitter through MPH. But maybe I'll talk about that later. I'll try to vlog the game. But I'll be at the Heat versus Mavericks game. Just as an early heads up. There will be no post game that game. Uh, but yeah, Jaime Hawkins rolled the ankle. Went down. Uh, and then going into the fourth quarter the Pacers look like they might build the lead back up but then out of nowhere the Heat couldn't miss we already talked about Tyler Hero lighting it up from three Duncan Robinson hit a huge three got fouled on a three hit all three free throws even Bam in the bow got in the action and hit a three himself I think the Heat shot like eight and nine from three in the fourth quarter something insane the Heat would come all the way back to tie the game and then Tyrese Halliburton, ugly ass with the double hit shot, uh, hit back to back threes. Uh, very sad because the first one, uh, once the Heat tied it, uh, the Heat should have got the ball back with a chance to lead because Siakam traveled. No, no call. Uh, but then they missed. The, the Pacers got an offensive rebound by who else but TJ McConnell. Once again, the smallest guy on the court out hustling everyone to get an offensive rebound. So frustrating that the Heat couldn't come away with that. And then TJ McConnell assists Halliburton for the first three. Pacers would get a stop. And then TJ McConnell would, would assist Tyrese Halliburton on the next three. 
and that would be uh, uh, to Tyrese Halliburton. And again, the Heat, uh, the Pacers will go up six. Uh, Tyler Hero was doing his best to keep it close, but at the end of the day, the Heat just couldn't get stops late. Uh, I love the zone defense that we saw for, for the most part, but the Pacers were doing a good job moving the ball and finding mismatches that the zone allows. And Miles My Turner really ran free, uh, hit a monster three late in the game to really put the dagger in Miami after Nikola Jovic did a terrible closeout in which he flew uh fell for the easiest pump fake ever you're 610 Nikola Jovic you don't have to jump when you run out to the three-point line do the choppy steps as my guy Tony Fiorentino coach Tony used to say you don't have to jump at 610 uh to help bother the shot uh but eventually uh there was another dagger where the Heat were trying to uh, uh force a five second violation it was inbound to TJ McConnell who walked right to the rim to put another dagger layup in you. So all that to kind of say the defense in the last several minutes of the game uh, was abysmal. It, it really, really was. Uh, I'm watching Terry Rozier get cooked out there. I'm watching Duncan Robinson get cooked by TJ McConnell, who had another like midi jumper over him late in the game. Uh, McConnell really cooks you, uh, and it sucks because the, the defense was ass. Hopefully getting Jimmy Butler back will help a lot of that. But I will say I am really tired of seeing Terry Rozier close out these games. I felt like Josh Richardson was having a very, very nice game. Not only offensively did he finally get his rhythm a little bit, uh, was 2 of 5 today, got you a 3. So not too much, uh, but defensively he was the pest that the Heat have been hoping for, that, that he could return to that, that defensive form that we saw, you know, 7, 8 years ago. Uh, so I kind of would have rather keep him in there. Uh, it's unfortunate, once again, the two rookies didn't get any run. No Khalil Ware today, no Pella Larson. Uh, I also would have liked to see some of both of them. But particularly late in the game, I would have liked to see Pella Larson. Uh, the defense has been so, so, so bad down the stretch over the last couple of games. Uh, and a lot of that is because of Terry Rozier. I'm not going to lie to you. And it's, his defense has always not been great, but at least he was hitting buckets. And now when he's not hitting shots no more, he's really just a liability out there. Uh, so I kind of would like anybody out there except him. Uh, even Haywood Highsmith, who was 0 with 6 today after being 6 for 6 last game. Anybody but Terry. He's just been really, really frustrating, to tell you the truth. Uh, but we'll kind of go through the box score here, talk about some guys we didn't mention. Haywood Highsmith today, 0 with 6, like we just said. Uh, you'll... you'll You'll take that from him after he just came off a six for six game. You know what you get it from him, uh, but always love the defense, of course. Kevin Love with a really nice game again after ex having that third quarter explosion last game. Got you eight and six today in 11 minutes. I think that will be his role this year. And if we get this level of contribution, I'll be happy with it. Uh, Bam and Abayo did kind of get going in that third quarter, too, to keep things in it. So he did finish with 24 points and eight rebounds, 9-18, and even hit two threes today. Uh, it's unfortunate that Miles Turner really went off today because uh, he's really the, the point of emphasis for the Pacers today. He he got you 34 points on with five triples. Uh, but the part that sucks is because I know Bam can shut that down. But there were so many switches and so many possessions of zone defense that a lot of time Miles Turner was doing his damage on Nikola Jovic or Tyler Hero or Duncan Robinson. Uh, that's why I would like to finally see some some Khalil Ware minutes next to Bam Adebayo, especially when you're playing these uh, teams with a bigger front court like the Pacers have in Siakam and Miles Turner. But we didn't see it because of that. Miles Turner was kind of cooking us all night. And it just sucks because I, I feel like we have the personnel to slow him down a little bit because everything was just way too easy for Miles Turner. But Tyler Hero did overcome the, the, the rough start to finish with 28 points, 7 of 11 from 3. He's truly having one of the most prolific three-point shooting seasons in Heat history. Seriously. I mean, I, I really want to see the advanced numbers on this because number one is obviously that second year Duncan Robinson was here, that second or third year. Uh, what would that have been like 2021, I believe. Uh, but then after that season, it could be this one because after another strong performance from Tyler today, I know he's well, well over, above 45, 46 percent from three on just super high volume, uh, nearly double digit attempts per game. So uh, shout out to him again. Uh, and then Terry was there today, four for 12. Uh, yeah, he's cheeks. Uh, no two ways to, to talk about it. Uh, Nikola Jovic, although he did struggle a little bit defensively and he was only 33% from the field, he did get you four points. So nice to see him continue to build off the uh, the volume that he's able to get and be a contributing factor on offense and not just a guy who sits in the corner like we saw most of last season. Jaime Hawkins only got two points uh, in 15 minutes before injury. We talked about Jay Rich and then Duncan Robinson was your fourth guy off the bench. He got you 20 points, six attempts. 
percent five or seven from three so after a couple games where duncan struggled shooting the ball i feel like he was good in other areas but he was uh, struggling in the last couple games he came today with a huge bounce back and really helped the heat to keep this thing close uh, but anyways that's really all i gotta say about this game uh nothing too much of note that's what's gonna happen when you get these two games in a row versus the same team but the heat do play the philadelphia 76ers tomorrow who are two and ten you gotta beat that team i don't care if mb plays i don't care if playoff p way off p playoff bum plays you got to beat that team because uh, Tyrese Maxey is definitely out as well. Uh, and Joel Embiid is currently questionable with an illness. Maybe he got a little bit of that South Beach flu. Maybe he's just scared of Miami and Bama DeBio. I, I don't know. Uh, the good news is it looks like we'll get Jimmy Butler back because he was questionable today. He was doing like full strength or full speed defensive workouts, uh, I read. Uh, and they probably just sat him out today because they got a back-to-back. -back, so they figured they'd play him tomorrow. Of course the injury bug is as unfortunate as ever because as soon as you get jimmy back you lose Jaime hotkeys and it's just this giant carousel of injuries same thing we saw the last couple seasons uh, and it's the most frustrating thing because you can never get fully healthy but if they can manage the, the storm and at least be healthy going into april that's the most we can ask for ask for so we'll deal with it for now and i'll try not to get too too frustrated uh, but anyways make sure to comment down below your thoughts on the game leave a like and subscribe because i'm on the grind to hit 6k subs all the support is greatly greatly appreciated i'll see y'all tomorrow for post game peace out everyone Look, pull up in the city trying to get that dead fast slice do it on my own i don't need no dead weight like, had to kill him off yeah i need a head space you know this homegrown bitch don't offend me hmm